All right, so I don't know how to get the um, the previous league. Like, there's a screen with the league, but I'm just going to do it like this. So our first game with Fists Delver was against Chart. We'll just replay it. Alright, so the deck is basically blue-red Delver, but with no Electricries or Swirling Sandstorm in the board, and a bunch of Fists of Flame. And I think the Fists of Flame are really good against Boros in particular. Yeah, here they are. So we've got two in our, uh, in, in our 60, and then one in the board. So, this card's really good. It draws a card, it usually kills something, and sometimes you get in for extra damage. I think it's better than Delver of Secrets. But I'm not sure. You could deal a lot of damage with this card if you have Brainstorm AK in your deck. <laughs> Anyway, the first matchup is against Burn. And I'd honestly probably rather have more just plain removal spells against Burn. Yeah, you see me put both back put back both fists. And the reason is they play a lot of creatures that you want to kill. Let me make sure my mic's on. Um, yeah, it's on. Okay. So, they just play two Gitu Lava Runners. They only have one land. And we, um, we really want to find Augur of Bolas, because that card's insane. And especially against Burn, because it blocks these guys... Um, but basically, we don't have enough mana to play Augur of Bolas this turn. And we're vulnerable to a Searing Blaze if they rip a land off the top. So, we're just going to bolt one of these guys now. We've got three removal spells in our hand. And... Yeah, they get their get to lava runners online, so we just bolt one. Obviously, if they played a thermo alchemist there, we probably still would have just bolted a lava runner, and then bolted the thermo alchemist next turn. But uh, all right, so we get another brainstorm. Accumulated knowledge is a good card, but it's a little bit slow. Yeah, and they do Searing Blaze our Augur. So we spend another one of our bolts killing their guy. And they obviously have something for one mana they can do. And it's a Rift Bolt. So we get in with our Fairy. And we don't have a counter spell in our hand, but we could draw one. And we're not really afraid of any anything, really. I think I scryed both of those cards to the bottom. Getting this ninja online is really important. And we've got a lot of things to do with our blue mana. We don't have hardly anything to do with red mana. And yeah, we could just bolt this on our turn. So we draw our one of our fists. Um, we do have kind of a counter spell with Spell Stutter Sprite. And we are going to need to bolt this, so I should probably bolt this before combat. But I'm going to attack and see if I can get him with the fists. Alright, so they, they took the bait. Obviously they could blow us out with like um, a lightning bolt, but we have two counters for it, so not really.
Okay, they do nothing. We're at seven, so we could just get burnt out. Yeah, now we're at six. They didn't play a land, but I guess they figured if they're not going to draw a land, then they might as well just use it right now. So this is a pretty good time to spell stutter. They have a Searing Blaze, so I've got another one. <laughs> Okay, and they fire blast, so I actually I don't die here, but I take a lot of damage. So yeah, I think looking back on it, I probably should have used Dispel to counter the Searing Blaze, just because Well, I didn't really think it through um how bad Fire Blast on the Spell Sutter would be. And you'll see how bad it is in a little second. I was kind of hoping to draw a counter spell off of, you know, this auger or this ninja or this accumulated knowledge. I've got like six, five or six looks at it, but yeah, and they were able to chain lightning. And yeah, there's nothing we can draw. Finally, we draw the counter spell. But I think we play. Yeah, we just play three counter spells, I think. So uh, it's kind of unlucky, but there's probably like 20 cards that we didn't look at. So I don't know. I still think it's a good matchup, and especially when we have all these blue blasts in the board. Some people only play three, but I think with how much burn that I personally see in the leagues. I see it at least once a league. It's worth having four copies of, because you just win every game. All right. Uh, match two. We bring in four blue blasts, and we bring in some other stuff. We bring in all the counter spells. And we take out Accumulated Knowledge for being too slow, and Mantle of Tides. Uh, it just doesn't do anything. Like, if they're electricking us, I'm kind of okay with it. I'd much rather have a counter spell. Oh, oops. I closed the wrong thing. I meant to close the other window, this one. Alright, sorry. Alright, so I keep one land, two really good cantrips, plus fairy seer, plus a bunch of counter spells. This seems like the only thing I could possibly lose to. I put both of those on bottom because they're not land. Is like a early. Um, did I take out the fist? Yeah, I took out the fist too for probably another removal spell. I think I play a couple Screds in the board. This is not the best matchup for Fists. But anyway, I drew my second land, so basically the only way I can lose this game is if they have a Thermo Alchemist and I don't have an answer for it. And I don't really have a clean answer with Lightning Bolt in my hand, and I don't even have the land to use it, but now I do. All right, I'm not actually sure what happened that turn. I think I probably should have played Augur, but I didn't have the uh, the lands for it, I don't think. I thought I had, like, tapped out or something. They have a Curse of the Pierce start, which we'll probably have to kill eventually, but I'm not in any rush to kill this spell. It's already dealt us, I think, two damage. Yeah, and this is just kind of a joke at this point. Like, I've got five cards in my hand and three counter spells, plus a removal spell, plus a brainstorm. And yeah, I just have more counter spells than they have spells. So, yeah, and they're not doing anything, so I don't really need to do anything. They killed my ninja, sure, and maybe they'll win somehow if they can, like, 
overload my counter spells, like overload my mana, but they've only got two mana themselves, so I'm not really afraid of that. So here we go for the spell stutter, and it actually works. They don't fire blast it, so. And we're clocking them for three a turn. There is some merit to leaving back one of the augers, but since I have a scred in my hand, I would just probably scred any hasty two power creatures they play. Yeah, and I could counter this, but I don't need to. Looks like I countered it, but... Yeah, and then there's something else I can counter. And they're dead next turn. Yeah. So that's a pretty good game. Um, it's kind of what you want to be doing as the blue-red deck, just playing counter spells, playing removal spells, countering their stuff. Getting value off Ninja. So this is game three for all the marbles. They have a turn one Gitu Lava Runner. So I play Evolving Wilds. I figure I'm going to get a mountain for it. I don't really have any way to counter anything in my hand anyway. And I'd like to get these spell stutters online. But, like, I can't counter a Thermo Alchemist, and of course they have it, but I have the answer for it. But I can't kill it until turn three because it's Scred. I draw another Scred, so... Uh, sorry, I kind of went a little fast there. Um, so I brainstormed... No, I pondered, and I found Blue Blast, plus I think Counter Spell in another land. So, Blue Blast is really good. Of course, I'm going to keep that. Since I have two Screds, I imagine I'll probably Scred this guy. And they've got one turn to do something with Thermo Alchemist, but... Uh, I'm not... Like, if it stays on the battlefield, that could be bad. But if they have, like... Um, like three of those um, cards that ping Needle Drop. That's the one I'm thinking of. That's the worst thing they could have, because that just draws them extra cards. So they just Needle Drop me, and this thing's dealt us two damage. So I'm just going to kill this one, and probably just kill this one. You really can't let these hang around. Yeah, that's like the one thing you really can't do, because Burn does not play a lot of two-for-ones. Their prime objective is to just get you down to uh, zero life. And Thermo Alchemist is kind of the only really recurrent source of damage. You hear me talk about it a lot. But that's because it's so important. Like, they have three cards in their hand. If they have the perfect hand, they could, like, Bolt, Bolt, Fire Blast. But if they don't have the perfect hand, like, if they have a land in their hand, then I just win with all my value. So, yeah, basically, killing this guy is the key to surviving the early game. And if you could, like, just kill all of these, then you're pretty much guaranteed to win. Yeah, so I decided to leave up Lightning Bolt. I don't know, maybe that's a mistake, but I already have Spell Stutter, and... Okay, so they killed my ninjas, which... I don't know, it's... Maybe their best shot at winning. Just because if the ninja survives, like... Yeah. 
Yeah, basically, I I feel like they don't have very good spells in their hand because if they're killing the ninja, that means they're trying to play a long game. And um, but I don't, I don't know if they don't have anything in their hand, then they're not going to be able to play the long game either. But it's still probably their best shot at winning the game. So there I pondered, kept a blue blast, a dispel, and another land, which I figure might be a little loose. On the off chance that they have, like, two fire blasts plus a lightning bolt or something. Well, dispel's pretty good against that anyways. But... Yeah. Okay, so they play Keldon Marauders. Yeah, I, basically my read is that their hand isn't very good, and even drawing a land off the top, like Spell Stutter Dispel can counter most things. So the reason I let Keldon Marauders resolve is because I've kind of got the answer to it in Lightning Bolt. And Skewer the Critics... I counter with a blue blast because I don't really want to go below four because then you're kind of dead to just a random fire blast if you ever tap out. So, but basically I can still lose if I draw like a bunch of just random garbage islands. So they have an electricery. Um... Yeah, which I guess is probably why they killed the ninja all those turns earlier, because their hand's kind of reactive. But luckily I had the answer in Dispel. If I didn't have Dispel, I might be in trouble. So, yeah, ninja is just absolutely perfect here. And I can't imagine they have too much in their hands. Yeah, they play a land plus Searing Blaze. And they did have a Fire Blast, but it didn't really matter. They Fire Blast one of my fairies again, which... I mean, they're, they're kind of just hoping I don't have another counter spell, or it just drew really poorly. But I drew pretty well. And managed to win. So, yeah, that was that was the match against Tart. I probably should have won the first game if I'd played better, but... Uh, I, I think I've played against Tart before, and they're, they're a pretty good burn player. So, pretty happy to beat them. And, yeah, on to game two.